Hello, now we will create a circular picture box with a border gradient color, with various line style shapes, for example, solid, dashes, dots or combined between dashes and dots, or just no border. And we can also set the cap style to the end or beginning of a dash, for example, flat, rounded or triangular style. Well let's start with the tutorial. We will add a new class and put any name. As usual, we import the Windows Forms library to use the conventional Windows controls, the drawing library, and the component model library to implement attributes to the properties of the control. We inherit the picture box control. Now we will declare the appearance fields and assign their default values. In this case, one field for the border size, two fields for the border gradient color, that is, border color 1 and border color 2. Then one field for the border line style, another for the border cap style. And finally, a flow type field for the angle of the gradient. In the constructor, we simply set a size to the same height and width. And optionally set the size mode. In this case, I will tell the image to fit the size of the picture box. Now we will create the accessors of the field so that we can change the appearance of the control from the properties box. In case, when encapsulating the fields, the body of the properties is generated in a single expression, you can disable this behavior from the C-sharp code style options. Personally I prefer to generate the properties in the traditional way, and thus add validations, conditions, calculations, invoke a method and among others. Ok, in the set accessors, we invoke the invalidate method, to repaint the control and thus update the appearance. Well, now we will override the onResize event method, so that the circular picture box always has the same height and width, that is, a perfect circle. Then, every time the control changes size, we establish a new size with the same width and height, for this we use the width or height property for both parameters of the size object. Finally, we override the unpaint event method, to add or create a custom appearance. As usual, we create the necessary fields to make the drawings. First, we define a field for the graphics object, this is obtained from the graphics property of the paint. Then a rectangle for the dimensions of the smoothing, which is equal to the client rectangle of the control. However, we will reduce the dimensions by 1, to remove the border from the picture box at design time. Now we define another rectangle for the dimensions of the border. The structure of this field will be equal to the structure of the previous rectangle reduced with the border size. We define the smoothing size, which is equal to the border size multiplied by 3, but if the value is less than or equal to 0, the smoothing size must be at least 1. Now, using the using statement, we create an object for the border gradient color. So. We use the linear gradient brush class, as parameters we send the border rectangle, border color 1, border color 2, and the gradient angle. We create a graphics path object for the control region. Then we create a pen object for the contour smoothing, of the same background color as its container, and the width assigned in the smooth size field. In the same way, we create another pen object for the border, with the border gradient color and border size defined. Alright, that's all it takes. Now we assign the cap style and line style to the border pen object. We add an ellipse to the region's graphics path using the smoothing rectangle structure.
Finally, we set the smoothing mode of the paint graphics object to anti-alias. OK, now let's start drawing the contour smoothing and circular border of the control. For this we use the draw ellipse method. As parameters we send the pan and rectangle of the contour smoothing. To draw the border of the control, the border size must be greater than zero. Otherwise, the border will not be drawn. That is, we will simply have a circular picture box with the contour smoothing without borders. Well that's it. But if you just want a circular picture dimensions with no border, you can remove all fields, properties, and paint fields, except for the smoothing fields and code. Or you can add more fields, properties, and methods to add more appearance customizations. OK, to generate the control or save the changes we must build the project. The size and gradient color of the border works perfectly. In the same way, there are no problems with the line style and cap style property of the border. Resizing is fine. Now I'll add an image. Great, apparently everything is fine. I will add other circular picture boxes to see if I find any problems. All right, I did not find any problem. You can set the border color, line style and cap style of the border, or remove the border. Well, that's all in this tutorial. I hope you liked it and it helped. Goodbye and until the next video.